Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to my channel. My name is Elizabeth. My channel name is Shy Tone Girl, and my favorite sidekick, Miss Kalua Lu, is actually right over there. <laughs> as soon as I sat down, she was like, bam, right there. But, well, she's already starting to creep over this way. Okay, I have a Dollar Tree haul to share with all of you. It's Sunday. The sun is shining, and it appears like it's warm outside, but, oh, my gosh, it's so chilly here in New York State. But it is January. What are you going to do? All right. Dollar Tree time. Boy, it seems like they just got Christmas out. And even before Christmas was finished, there's Valentine's Day. There's Easter. There's planting and gardening things. It is just like all over the place. So no matter what you're probably looking for right now, you'll find it at Dollar Tree most likely. All right. I found a few things that are, you know, but you really get a lot of bang for your buck. Uh, these are your plastic mailing envelopes. These are the, uh, how big are these anyways? These are the 10 and a half by 15 inches, which is the smallest of what they carry. So I picked up a few of those because usually that is what I use when I'm sending, um, you know, friend mail, happy mail, giveaway mail, things like that. Um, anyone that gets giveaways from me, it usually comes in a package of that or something else. But if you can get it at the Dollar Tree for a dollar, why not, right? With the way shipping is and how much everything costs these days, you save where you can, even in your packaging. All right, um, there's no rhyme or reason to this. I'm literally pulling it out of a laundry basket because I came in, unloaded, and sat right down. Okay, um, Barnum & Bailey crackers. Well, I say Barnum & Bailey because to me, Barnum & Bailey circus, you know, I used to go every year. My dad used to get tickets. Uh, anyways, this is the eight ounce size. It's got the resealable and this is a brand name. So these are the old fashioned animal crackers. Do they even still come in the little boxes with the white string handle? I remember you could get three of those boxes for a dollar. That's about as far back as I go, but they were always so yummy. Anyways, these are again the eight ounce size. Let me see if there's an expiration date. May 15th of 2020. You still have plenty of time. These are a nice little snack to have. You know, they're great for younger people, any kind of people. It doesn't matter. I picked up three of them because they definitely will go. Sometimes a little graham cracker or something. You know, a little cracker's good. Okay, Oof, all over the place here. Found some new Valentine's Day socks. This one I thought was super cute. These are the low cut socks. These are the women's size five through nine. This one here, look at this little schnauzer. Look at that. And then he's got his little, little heart antennas coming out. I thought those were so adorable. The schnauzer is on both pairs of the socks, front and back. So I thought those were super adorable. Again, the women's five through nine was always a really hard sock size to find out in my area. Now all of a sudden it's became, become very out there. The next one is also five through nine. These are low cut socks. And this one says, hug me, but it's got a big old cacti on the front there. And this is where it says, hug me. That is super cute. Great for Valentine's day as a little extra something, something. If you're giving somebody a treat, these I came across, which were kind of cool. This is by Alex Spa. Never heard of this person before. Um, have no idea, but I thought for a dollar, it looked like a pretty good buy. This is a three illusion ED. I swear I'm going to get one of those. <laughs> this is by Alex Spa. It's a 3D illusion tattoo set. Realistic optical illusion tattoos. It comes with 55 3D tattoos, a sponge, and different instructions. This is what it looks like. Let me bring it in a little bit closer. Probably because I have no small ones this age. Um, that's why I'm not familiar with it. But you get 55. And here's an example on the back of everything you're getting. What a cute thing. Like you're throwing a birthday party and you need, you know, treats for your goodie bags. I mean, for a dollar. Really? Can't beat it. Cannot beat it. The next thing I came across, which I guess you could use this for all kinds of things. First of all, this is a feather. It measures eight inches in height. So it is like a tin, aluminum, whatever you would like to call it. 
I was very pleased with how well these were done. Usually they're kind of cheesy on their paint jobs, but they did a great job. They're saying this is just basically decor, but you could use it for all kinds of things. You could just use it as an accent piece. You could hang things off of it if you want. I think I meant, I don't recall who it was. Someone mentioned that you could put earrings off of it if you want. Um, it's just kind of different and it's unique. I thought it was kind of cool. So I grabbed that and speaking of earrings, this, I was super psyched to see. I was like, what? This is an earring holder with a stand. But are you guys ready for this? It's a unicorn. OMG. Let me open this up for you. I thought, I've never seen anything like this. Now, it just says earring holder with stand. So again, that's the outside of the package. We have... A unicorn which I know to you looks transparent and it really is let me put it back up against the blue again so I mean it's probably not very easy for you to tell the colors so I'm gonna place something darker behind it just to help you see but these colors really pop look at that so what you do is it comes with these two kickstands that obviously you're going to end up putting in here and because I'm sitting here trying to do it in front of you all it's not gonna work for me. But anyways, you put these two kickstands in and once they're in properly, because I don't have it. Okay, Beth, good lord. Let me try this again here. I'm looking like a fool because I'm doing it sideways. Okay, so once you put the stands in and the stands can move in different directions. Ta-da! You know what, this doesn't seem right. What am I doing wrong? I'm doing something wrong. But, you know, I'm one of those that don't read instructions half the time. I just try to figure it out. Anyways, it ends up standing up. And you have all... Let me take these back out so I can show you. It has all these little holes to put earrings. You could do studs. You could do anything you wanted. You could do absolutely nothing and just leave it on your desk after you add your pieces to stand it up with so adorable i just thought it was so cool that wasn't the best presentation right there that was kind of cheesy so i apologize for that i'm not a hundred percent and i'm sure most of you that watch me can probably tell that um just trying to push through some issues uh i've been under the weather for a couple of days had some stuff going on i'm pretty sore we won't go any further than that enough said okay pipe cleaners Pipe cleaners are getting expensive in the store. I cannot believe how expensive they're getting. But at Dollar Tree, you can get 45 pipe cleaners for a buck. And I've got some crafts that I'm hoping to do for Valentine's Day, including I'm considering doing a Valentine's Day wreath. And if you watch, oh, what is her? Is it Mimi Sprinkles? My bad. It's her and her husband. Oh, uh, blonde hair, beautiful girl. Oh, hey! Anyways, you all know probably who I'm talking about. <laughs> I'm so sorry, but I'll put a link to her channel down below. I'm keeping it real. We had, um, she had mentioned a comment about maybe us doing a collab for Valentine's Day wreaths. So, I'm all for it. I do have some stuff to do it. So, I'm sure her and I will be in contact with each other. So, keep your eyes open. There might be something coming up about that. All right, 45 pipe cleaners in a package. These really aren't a lot of the colors I need or want, but I really needed the red ones and I needed the white ones. And Dollar Tree's not real good with having individual colors. So I just picked up two colors of the multis. I use pipe cleaners for so many different things, so it wasn't the end of the world. I walked into Michael's. I was going to get some pipe cleaners. I wasn't paying two and a half bucks for pipe cleaners. I was like, forget about it. Walk right back out and right over back to Dollar Tree. Alrighty, I found some new candles. Now, I showed some beautiful candles a couple of days ago, and I just found out that there's one I'm missing, so I'm back on the hunt for that, and those are the ones that have the really pretty jars with the snap closures. Really pretty. They're in my last Dollar Tree haul if you're interested in seeing them. So these were something cool that struck my eye. These are three ounces. Look at the design. Now, these are going to appear kind of glossy and shimmery. 
because they are. The best way I could describe it is they're pastel, but you have a little bit, look at this lavender one. You have a little bit of bling going on there, but not a lot, okay? So these are three ounces. They measure three inches in height. They do have a plastic protector. This one here, it says moonshine dust. And there is a little hole there for sniffing. It's soft breeze, like a ocean breeze. Absolutely beautiful. The next one is this really pretty. The camera is not doing these jars justice in any way, shape, or form. This one is aquamarine glaze. And they're basically like summer. To me, these would be perfect for a house that's by water, by the ocean. This one here is jasmine and rose water. Look at this beautiful. And I know you're seeing a bit of a reflection, but these really are, even if I bring it back some, they're very shiny. They're very pretty. And again, even though the scents are all a little bit different from each other, they're soft scents. They're not like, boom, overpowering. Last but not least, this one is called citron and mandarin. And you can definitely smell the mandarin. So there is a little scent hole. I'm curious to see what the throw will be, how they burn. Sometimes you can get candles at Dollar Tree and other stores and you light them and they just burn right down the middle and you have everything less. Or they melt too fast and they keep blowing themselves out. So, you know, you just want to be careful when going to different stores. And I'm not just referring to Dollar Tree. Watch it because... Yes, candles are inexpensive, but you do get what you pay for in certain ways. But for decorative purposes, like something like a candle in a tin, I don't need to pay more than a dollar for that, and I'm quite content doing so. This is a little metal tin. This measures three inches in length and three inches in diameter, so three all the way around. This is from Fresh Picked Candle Company. This here is a soy candle. I tend to like soy candles better. I think they have a better throw. This one here is in the shape of a heart and it says, be my Valentine. You open it up, or try to anyways. It almost smells like candy, like one of those conversation hearts. Very lovely. Um, a great little something something to put on a shelf, put in a little treat bag you know, put it on a diagonal to decorate with. And that's what I think I'll be doing is decorating with them. The next one by the same company says, I love you. And that is so pretty. And this one, let's see. Oh, it's just, this almost has a little bit of a hot cocoa smell. Where the first one definitely smelled like candy to me. Yeah, this one's got more of a candy kick. So, so far, this one's my favorite. So, I think I found three. Yeah, I found three different ones in total. This one says, I love you to the moon and back. I know so many people that use that scent. That scent. Here we go. I know so many people that use that saying. This one. Wow, this one smells even more like candy, like more than the first one. So I would have to say out of sniffers under my sniffer, I would say that was my favorite. Obviously, after you burn this candle, or if you put this whole container in the freezer for about 15, 20 minutes, this candle, you go boom, this whole entire candle will pop out with no mess, and you can just use the container for whatever you want to use it for. Just a little FYI. I don't know where this came from. I have no idea what that means. Okay, moving on. I did... Oh, I, this is kind of something new. Well, these weren't new, but I wanted to get these because right now I'm trying to fix my attitude of just life in general. Um, but I've recently become a fan of Ray Dunn. And I am in the midst of putting together some kind of a, you know, when I built that two-tier tray, three-tier tray from Dollar Tree and I did the DIY, and now I'm kind of like hooked on these trays. And so I've been gathering little bits and pieces to try to 
fill a tray that I'm looking to buy, but they're out of stock right now, so I can't wait for it to get back in stock from Hobby Lobby. And I want to try to put something together. So in the meantime, while I'm waiting for the tray to come back in, hopefully it comes back in before Valentine's Day. So I'm just picking up little pieces here and there. And this was an 18 count. No, they don't have little hearts on them, but they are in pink. And I thought if I can't find something with hearts, I could use these in my display. And they're just cutesy cutesy. Also in the aisle where they have all the balloons and things like that. They have all kinds of new, and I'm not going to be able to get this open, really? Okay, well, I can show it to you. Um, they have all these new little treat bags. I'm always checking out that section where their streamers are and their straws and things like that because they always got new little things just popping up. Well, these are, and I've used these treat bags before. I just have not used them in this pattern before. There, I'm opening one up. Bear with me. I'm just going to rip it open. Hopefully I can. Yes. All right. So you get, again, you get 18 in a package. These are paper. And they're just little bags. And here it just says, hip, hip, hooray. They're just little paper sacks. And I think, <laughs> I'm going to admit something here. I think from my childhood, when I used to play grocery store, I used to collect little bags and things like this. And being in Europe for as much as I was, they use a lot of thin paper for packaging in there. When you go to a shop, they'll put something in a bag like this. And I think for me, like when I used to play store and stuff, this to me, like if you put a little something, something in it, whether you fold it over and put string through it or staple it or whatever, it just... Again, I'm going back to all about presentation. That's where I'm, you know, nearly going right here. That's basically where I'm heading to. But keep your eyes open. There's all kinds. I bought two packages, actually, because they're so adorable. If you want to give a couple hot, fresh cookies you just made out of the oven, slip them in there, give them to a neighbor, give them to a friend. It's just a little something to make it pop. That's my pop, pop. Okay, I did also come across, I thought I had one more. I did not. These are the air-filled balloons that you blow up with a string by yourself. Um, they come with a string to tie, and it comes with this little straw to blow up yourself. They're 22 inches in length after you blow it up, and you just, you know, blow it up with your air. You could use helium if you wanted to, I guess, but if you blow them up, they work just as well. And this says love, and it's done in pink. It looks red, but it's not. Here's the red one, and now you'll be able to tell the difference. And here's the one in red. So cute for doing Valentine's decorations, or if you're putting, um, you know, a little gift bag together for somebody, and you're sending it to somebody. Just an example. I'm just, you know, just me talking outside the box. Say you're shipping it or packing it. Just a little something cute. <laughs> Again, these are just my opinions. Um, I'm really trying to do the best I can. I know I wasn't 100% on par today. Um, I'm just a bit under the weather, but I have so many things I want to share with you. So please bear with me as I get over this next hurdle in my life. Until next time, everyone, thank you so much for watching your continued support. I have a whole nother Dollar Tree haul I want to share with you all today. Plus, I have some friend mail, happy mail, and the rest of the ho-ho mail that I've received up to this point through this weekend. So please stay tuned. Also, we have a new giveaway for the last cake box item. That winner is going to be announced as well today, so keep your eyes open for that video too. Until next time, everyone. Wow, Miss Kalua stayed over there on our couch just snoozing away. Until next time, everyone, thank you so much for your support. Have a wonderful, wonderful day, and bye-bye for now.